Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry again. Um, we are off to another art challenge this week. Last week we did draw your home. And that could be where you lived before, where you want to live in the future. It could be your dream house. It could be your fairy tale castle. So those were awesome. Now we are going to work on another place where things live, but this time it's not people. We're moving on to under the sea. Now this is a big drawing because there are lots of different creatures that live under the sea. So we're going to do one at a time and then in the end you can put them all together. So I'm going to start by showing you my final drawing. It has lots of different animals from under the sea in it. Okay, so here you see I have a um, jellyfish, thank you Delaney, I have a turtle, I have a fish, I have a starfish down here, a crab, a scary shark, a fish, and a dolphin. Now, a few weeks ago we already did the fish, do you remember that? It was a circle with an X on the end for the tail. So we're going to learn how to do each one of those step by step. So let's start off with um, the jellyfish, because I think that's an easy one. So I'm going to show you, I'll also include the step by step so that you can freeze frame it if you want to look. So we're starting with the jellyfish. It's super easy. It's two steps. Can you see that? Maybe I'll see if we can keep it up here. No, you can't really see it up there. Put it right here. Jellyfish is just two steps. For the first step, we're going to draw a half of a circle. My daughter Delaney's here, she's doing it along with us. Half of a circle, and then some wavy lines under it. If you remember in first grade, we learned about different kinds of lines. Wavy was one of them. So we have a half circle for the body. We're gonna add two more circles for the eyes. Can you see that? All right, now we need to add the legs. And the legs are just wavy lines. I'm gonna move this out the way. See that, there we go. Wavy lines. And then I'm going to make them look more three-dimensional by just following the lines. So this jellyfish can have as many tentacles, that's what they're called, they're not really legs, they're tentacles, as you wish. So my jellyfish is done, so that one was easy. Next to my underwater scene, I'm going to add a um, an angelfish. An angelfish is different than the other fish we drew. The angel fish, you're gonna start with a triangle, or half, don't fill it in, right? And then we're going to add another triangle towards the back, and then just connect them. Easy, right? Our guy here needs eyes, and a mouth. And again, we're going to use the different kind of lines that we learned about. So I'm just going to do straight lines on this angelfish. And add a curved line near its face, but the rest are straight. Maybe add one more. All right, so under the sea is looking pretty good so far. Up next, I think I'm going to add a starfish. Now, a starfish has multiple arms. Did you know that if a starfish loses an arm, it could grow a new one? Isn't that pretty interesting? I thought so. Now if you see a starfish on the beach, don't take it home. Throw it back into the ocean where it belongs. All right, so starfish. Let's start with a straight line. We'll add a V on the bottom and a straight line at the top. That's basically your starfish. Now we're just going to flesh it out a little bit. Making my lines kind of curved. Now if I were drawing in pencil, that T that we started with, the T with the V on the bottom, 
I would erase that. So uh, because I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see, I can't erase it. But on top of it, I'm going to add his eyes and a mouth. Okay. I'm going to add some straight lines so it looks like it has some texture on it. All right, so our underwater scene is looking pretty good. Up next, how about we add my favorite? What's my favorite thing, Lainey? Crab. A crab. So for a crab, we're gonna start with his claws. And for his claws, we're gonna just make a C and then a backward C and then add a V in the middle. Then we can add the little pinchy parts for his claws. Got that? You can freeze it if you need to. Okay, next we're gonna add an oval. You know, oval's kinda like a circle, but not quite. Like an egg. Got that oval? Lainey, you have the oval? Good job. All right, now above the oval, we're gonna add two circles. Crab's eyes stick up off of their bodies, so we need to add that. And then we're gonna add a way for them to be attached to their body. Got that? We're almost done with this crab. Now he needs legs. So I'm just gonna draw three curved lines on each side. And then I'm going to flush them out. I'm going to add some dimension to them. And I'm going to add a little mouth in the middle. Get his eyeballs on the top. Good. So there's our crab. So we have our jellyfish. We have an angelfish, a starfish, and now a crab. One of my favorite animals, I haven't got see them very often but I saw them once when I was traveling and snorkeling is a sea turtle they're huge they're really big so we're gonna start with a circle now if we were in class I would say give me a thumbs up if you have it but I can just pause a second all right, next we're gonna add kind of like an oval. It's almost like a heart shape, but not quite. I don't have a good word to describe that shape. Sometimes it looks like a leaf. Sometimes it looks like a heart. So Lainey, what do you think it looks like? Mm -hmm. I don't know, think about it. Okay, so this is the back of a the- A clam shell? A clam shell, okay. The back of the turtle shell. We're gonna add some lines. Now he needs his flippers or his arms. So he's got four of them. So start with straight lines and then come around. So he's swimming. Then this one, he's swimming up to the surface. So I'm gonna add his eye and maybe some air bubbles because he's going up. Maybe he's gonna some air. I'm going to add some details on his fins. They usually have spots. So our sea turtle is finished. Two animals left. These are tricky ones. So if I make a mistake, it's good practice because there are no mistakes, only happy accidents, right? So you're using a pencil because these are tricky. So if you make a mistake and don't want to keep it, erase it. Now I'm using a Sharpie again, so there aren't going to be, um, I'm going to have to just pretend I don't see those lines because I won't be able to erase them. But with practice, we'll both be able to do it without needing to erase. But I still need to practice because this is a hard one. All right, so we're going to draw a shark. So for the shark, we're going to start with a circle. These are all shapes you already know. And then we're gonna add an oval right next to it. Okay, so that's kind of his head and his body. We need to add a triangle there for his fin. Got that? We'll add another one here. 
and at the end of his body, we're kind of running out of room here, but at the end of his body, we're gonna add like a V shape. That's gonna be his tail. Can you see that V shape? And then we're gonna draw a line that comes around like that. Looks kind of wonky now, but we're gonna work it out. Add his big fin, that's the one you see on the back. And our shark here has a big mouth, lots of teeth. And he's got a mean looking eye. So, we're going to pretend some of these lines don't exist, or you can erase them. all one part. I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better if we shade in the inside of his mouth. Start to see the shark yet? So I think if we add some color to cover up some of those lines, you might be able to see it a little bit better. Can you see it a little bit better now? So those lines from the original circle and oval, some of those we don't want to keep. We just needed it for the shape. So if I color this in, and I'm making him gray, but you can make him any color you want. But remember, sharks are stealthy. You can't see them coming because they blend in with the shadows of the water. Okay, my shark looks a little wonky, but that's okay. Next one is a tough one too. I'm running out of space on this paper. So I'm gonna start on a new paper and I will be drawing the last animal, which is a dolphin. Okay, so again, you're using pencils so you can erase where you need to, but we're gonna start with a dolphin. We're gonna start with a curved line. Good job, Delaney. And the nose of a dolphin kind of is round and then goes up we're just gonna connect these lines like that. Again, it looks wonky now, but we're gonna work it out. So here we're gonna add like a triangle for his flipper and a triangle on the other side for his flipper. Is it starting to look like a dolphin yet? His tail, we're going to add got U, a sideways U. Starting to look like it yet? Fin on the back. Eye. Kind of a dolphin or porpo porpoise. Yeah, looks a little wonky. I'd erase some of these lines, but that's why we're practicing, right? Because you only get better if you practice. And remember, nobody's perfect. So let me show you again my final picture so there's all my creatures in one space now when I did my step-by-step -step for the crab I colored him in red you see that he's red then I thought in real life if a crab were under the ocean he wouldn't be red he's only red after we cook him so for the sample I made him blue we have a lot of those blue crabs around here. Do you see anything else that looks different? Okay, so here is the step-by-step -step for the crab. You can freeze frame it. The step-by-step -step for the octopus, I'm sorry, I keep thinking it's an octopus. It's a jellyfish. My step-by-step -step for my jellyfish. Okay, 
here's the step by step for the turtle. You see that? My shark. See, it's a circle and oval. We add triangular shapes. It doesn't look like much here yet, but once you add the mouth and the teeth, it really starts to look like a shark. Dolphin, same thing. Looks wonky when you start, because it's kind of a weird shape, but it's just practice and practice and practice until you get it the way you like it. And for our last two, sea creatures. They were the easy ones, remember? The angelfish, you started with a triangle, added a triangle for the tail, and then just connected them. And the starfish, you started with like an upside down T and added an upside down U or V. Drew your lines around it to flush it out. Then we would erase that original T and V and added some straight lines for texture. Got it? All right, now remember, these were tough. If you want to just have your under the sea picture with just angelfish, that's cool, because fish travel in groups. Do you know what a group of fish is called? Delaney? Paul? No, a group of fish is called a school, a school of fish. So you could just have a school of fish, or you could have a bunch of jellyfish around. I don't know what a, maybe it's a pod of jellyfish. That sounds like a question for Miss Matisse, but a group of jellyfish. I was once in uh, the Bahamas near Paradise Island, near a bunch of big fancy boats. And in the water, I saw what I thought was garbage bags. It looked like trash. But as I got closer, I realized it was thousands of jellyfish. They were just swimming in the water thousands and I said to my friend who I was with I said are those jellyfish and she said yeah man don't jump in the water I was like good advice I will not jump in the water yeah, filled jelly. with jellyfish Never. that would Never. hurt 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 Ever. Delaney won't do it either yeah that's that's bad they sting you and it really hurts that's true they sting you and it really hurts okay guys so you can do one fish multiple times you can do a couple of your favorite again and again, but what I want to see is a page filled with underwater sea life. I added a little bit of seaweed, some sand on the bottom, like a cliff that these guys were hanging out on, but it's up to you. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Maybe you can even add someone who's snorkeling or scuba diving in there, or a shipwreck. That would be kind of cool shipwreck down at the bottom of the ocean okay that's it for me i can't wait to see what you come out with i miss you terribly i get some of my best ideas from my friends in class so it's only delaney and i so if you have some ideas please let me know i can't wait to see it